Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chovetz Chaim. And he's going to give a few examples over here that even though we say normally, you have to say over these words in front of three people because that makes it public. Nevertheless, there might be certain situations where based on the nature of the person who's telling over the information, he doesn't have to say over in front of three people. The calls that all of this says the Chavetz Chaim. When Ruvain is going to disclose the wrongdoings of Shimon in front of three people, that's when Ruvain is not afraid of the person Shimon that he is speaking about. However, if Ruvain if is afraid of Shimon, because Shimon could cause him harm, it's possible that maybe Ruvain, it's possible that maybe Ruvain would able to be make or be lenient over here, to speak about the avla, the sin that Shimon did to his friend Levi. <clears throat> Even if there are not three people that are around to hear. Now, what's the reason? Because that Ruvain is afraid that if he says it over to three people, word is going to get out, people, he, and then Shimon is going to hear about it, and Shimon is going to exact retribution from Reuven, and he's afraid, he's, a, he's concerned about that. And therefore, since it's clear that when Reuven is saying this in a private manner, it's not because he's going to go back and flatter Shimon later, or he's going to, he's going to do anything that he's not supposed to do in order to make this, these words true. He's only doing it out of fear. Perhaps, says the Chavetz Chaim, that would work in such a case. Then, says the Chavetz Chaim, another, another leniency. If Ruvain is telling over these words about Shimon, has a reputation where he's established as someone who is not looking to find favor in other people's eyes. Anything that he would say when he's criticizing somebody not in their presence, he would say the same thing in front of them as well. He's also, he's not someone that's intimidated by others. And he's someone established amongst the people. Everybody knows him, he only speaks the truth. <clears throat> then Reuben will be allowed to tell other people about the wrong that Shimon committed to Levi. <clears throat> but that means that, Sh- that Reuben knows that Shimon is not going to accept his rebuke. <laughs> Even if he's not in the presence of three people, he would be allowed to say it. <laughs> because such a person like Reuben and his reputation, they don't suspect him of being a flatterer or lying over here. He's only fighting for the truth. And he's trying to help the victim who was damaged over here. He wants to condemn the wrongdoings <coughs> so that others should know. Like we said above, However, Reuben has to be very careful. He shouldn't be lacking any of the details that we mentioned from the beginning. Otherwise, um, for that which we exempted Reuben in these two cases, the only thing that we said is that he doesn't have to have three people, but all of the other details that we have in the case of being able to tell over the Lashon Hara, which is not really Lashon Hara because you're doing the Ta'elis, all of the other advents of Ta'elis have to be in place for this to work. Have a wonderful day.